Mr. Marks, am I too early? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Come in, come in, please. I, I have a number of new things to show you. Good. Let me get. <laughs> oh. Feel this one. <laughs> Japanese silk. For your special order for your lady on Fifth Avenue. It took me nearly one month to find this very piece. I had to go everywhere. <laughs> it is lovely, yes. Lovely. Look at how finely embroidered it's beautiful. Oh, and I have two extra yards left. I give to you for the next to nothing, if you like. Next to nothing is too much for me. You know my answer. What will I do with it? Oh, make something lovely for yourself. It will be wasted on me. You will never find this again. I guarantee. I'll let our lady on Fifth Avenue cover the difference. How about that? I see how much you like. It is the very best quality, I guarantee. She don't know what she has. She don't come in here to feel the fabric herself. To feel the, the, the difference, the texture. She doesn't know how remarkable a weave. I could make a shawl. Or a smoking jacket for your gentleman, perhaps? My gentleman? Oh no, you've distracted me, Mr. Marks. You always get me to buy something I don't need. <laughs> when I see something of quality, I like to share with my favorite customers. Everybody else wants the same, but you, you want different. I like that. Oh, I have lost a button. I buy at the docks yesterday morning. Right off the ship from the Orient. I see it and I think Esther Mills will like, of course. Everybody else. Garbadi, Nansok, Wall, but... It isn't so often something so fine and delicate enters the store. You see the way the gold thread is interwoven. A hand took time to gently wind it through each and every stitch like a magician. It is magnificent, yes. <laughs> you will make something exquisite. And I can tell by your hands you are blessed with the needle on the thread. Which means you will never be without one. I'm afraid it was either learn to sew or turn back sheets for 50 cents a day. <laughs> you make it sound too simple. Oh, my father sew. My brother sew, yes. For the finest families. But I don't have the discipline. Or the fingers. <laughs> Oh, look at the size of these hands, like Carnati. Romanian sausage. <laughs> I wish it for your hands. It's fruit dye, am I right? It smells <laughs> like, um, like a... Like an imperial palace. <laughs> oh, designed by the artist right there. I wouldn't be surprised if it was created for an empress. You really want me to buy this, don't you? All right, it means I'll go without sugar for a week. Will that make you happy? Well, it makes you happy, it makes me happy. <laughs> oh, Lord, I do want it. Oh. The color won't rub off on you. No, no, please, um, it's not that. Um, my religion does not permit me to touch a woman who is not my wife or my relative. Oh, I see. It is Ravnica law, not mine. You're my, you must be a happy woman. I am not married. <laughs> well, not yet. Um, my fiancé is in Romania. My family made the arrangements many years ago. Oh. I bet you miss her something awful. I haven't ever met her, actually. Hi. Griffin Hutchins, 6'2", located in Atlanta, Georgia. I am non-union, and I am fully vaccinated.